That was uh, Biggie hypnotized. So, of course, you know, Donald Trump has a sneaker. And the funny thing about it is he's the first white dude with a sneaker since Larry Bird. Like, even even Tom Brady didn't get a sneaker. He got Uggs. <laughs> so, and his sneaker costs more than Michael Jordan's. They must be called the Air Defenders. You can wear them to court, but you can't wear them on the court. And, and, and But one of his spokespersons talked about how black people relate to him because of the sneaker. And uh, some people got offended. And then they also were talking about a lot of black people love me because I've been unfairly uh, targeted. When has a white billionaire ever... We can have all the disagreements we like about what you like about Trump or what you don't. But to have this narrative, like all the black men who have been incarcerated and black women who've been unfairly incarcerated, and he takes that mantra over? He, he gets to pretend he's not Geronimo Pratt. He's not Angela Davis. He's not uh, Nelson Mandela. He's not Rosa Parks. And you let him co-opt that narrative. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever belief system you want. But what he uses black people for is props. That's what he uses them for. You can take a picture with him. When is the last time he ever said anything about that was positive about black people? When he was giving that speech about turning overturning everything that the Biden administration done uh, did as far as policing, who do you think that's going to affect? When he says be rough with him when you put him in the car, who do you think that was? Donald Trump got sued twice by the government for refusing to re rent to black and Latin people. That is who he is. He took out a full-page ad and, and called for the hanging of the Central Park Five. That is who he is. He refused to hire black people in his, uh, in his casinos. That is who he is. But he knows who you are. He knows who you are. You're the type of person that, of course, would respond to a mugshot. Or, uh, 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 of course, would respond to somebody having a bunch of uh, felonies. But let me tell you this. Any black man ever who had who was uh, found liable for sexual battery, accused, of, uh, found guilty of fraud, and had 91 kid, uh, cases, uh, cases pending, not only would he not be in the running for the White House, he couldn't be a manager at White Castle. So let him, you can do whatever you want. You can have whatever narrative you want. You cannot, he cannot co-op the real live struggles of people. Just because he let a couple of people out, uh, for, cause, so Kim Kardashian could look good, that's another thing. But in terms of doing things for people, but of course he knows, he knows the kind of black people will respond to them. Of course shoes will work for him. Of course shiny stuff will work for them. Of course they will. They're the time for people that are still bragging about getting a STEMI check. That $1,400 he bought you all for. He knew that if he signed the back of the check, black people like you would respond to it. He knows if he has shiny shoes, black people like you would respond to it. He knows if he says he's been indicted and you, we got mugs out, certain kind of people would respond to it. But what he cannot do is co-opt the struggles of back, black people when he already got the kind of black people that respond to his nonsense. That's a little note from the GED section. Got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.